welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing the best blue stack setting for the low end pc and if you have the low end pc or laptop and want to enjoy the blue stack application and game smoothly without any kind of lag make sure that you watch the video till the end and apply all the steps that i will be sharing in this video so without any delay let's quickly get started first we have to make some changes with the blue stack only so bring up the blue stack and then you have to click on the app layer that you will find on the very left hand corner click on it give the permission and the app layer will now be loading up it may take some time so you will have to wait until it come up so once the app layer comes up you will find the setting gear icon at the right hand corner so you will have to click on it now here in the setting on the very top you will find the performance and in the performance you will find first the cpu allocation now basically by default it will automatically detect it uh, but it's recommended that in the cpu allocation you go with the four core and in case if you only find the two core then you can go with the two cores the memory allocation now it all depends that how much ram you have the physical ram on your computer so let's say that if you have 16 gigabyte of ram and if it shows you 8 gigabyte then go with the high that is 8 gigabyte but if you have 8 gigabyte of ram then i would recommend you to go with the enhanced that is 4 gigabyte of ram but if you have the 4 gigabyte of ram then you can try between 4 gigabyte and 2 gb whichever work for you best okay so you will have to make some changes and find out your own self that which is performing the best for you now in the performance mode depending that what kind of configuration you have if you have a very low end pc then you can try the low memory but if you have the mid level uh, low end pc then you can also try the high performance even you can try switching between them and see whichever work for you best okay i will give this to high performance then below you'll find the frame rate okay so now this depends that what kind of configuration you have so if you have a very low end pc i would recommend you to keep it to 30 but if you have a configuration like intel i5 i3 uh, with 8 gigabyte of ram then you can keep this to 60 and in case if you have a high end pc then you can enable high frame rate option below and you can also increase the frame rate from here okay so this all depend that what kind of configuration you have but as we are talking about the low end pc so i would recommend you to kindly go with 60 or either with the 30. so once you are done you can click on save changes and make all kind of changes then you can go to the display option and here it should be selected to 1920 into 180 or 1600 into 900 so if you have any kind of uh, stutter or any kind of lagging problem then you can try the lower resolution and switch to 1280 into 720 this is only for the people who after applying all the setting also they face some kind of lag then they can try switching to this low resolution mode then in the graphics setting you can keep this to opengl not a problem rest you don't have to make any other changes simply you can close it and now we have to make some changes from the windows so on your windows 10 or 11 you have to click on your windows search type graphic then click on graphic settings now here you have to browse to the location of the blue stack and in order to find the blue stack location you can click on your windows search type blue stack once you get it right click on it and choose open file location again right click on blue stack choose open file location now copy the path from the top so click on the address box right click and choose copy now go back to the graphic setting click on browse paste the path at the very top hit the enter key now here you scroll down you will find the blue stack select it click on add now once added click on options and choose it to high performance then you have to click on save and now you can close it now the next thing that you have to keep in your mind that you close all the other application that you are not using while using the blue stack so what you can do you can right click on the windows icon click on task manager this will list you all kind of application and program running in the background 
So let's say if you're not using Google Chrome or any other application while using the blue stack, simply right click on it and choose end task. Try to use minimum application while using the blue stack if you have the low end PC. Then you also need to disable the unwanted application from the startup. So click on the startup apps. Now here look for any kind of third party application like Opera, any kind of browser, Epic Game, Steam, Discord, Edge, OneDrive, Power Automat, anything that is third party application. And if it's been enabled from the startup, then you will have to right click on it and choose disable. Now what this application does, if they are enabled from the startup, they will be loading up along with your operating system and they will be running in the background and occupying a lot of resources that can slow down the performance. Okay, so you have to disable the unwanted application, all kind of third party application and program from here. Now, after applying all these changes, you will have to restart your computer. And the next time when you bring up the blue stack, what you will have to do, right click on the windows icon, go to task manager. You have to look for the blue stack, right click on it, click on go to details. Again, right click on blue stack, hover up to set priority and choose it to either real time or high. So once you change the priority, you will find more changes and better performance in the blue stack. So that's what all you need to do in order to get the better performance of blue stack. And this is the best setting for the blue stack while enjoying on the low end PC of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.